Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is an NBA All-Star whose skills on the court led him to breaking records and also winning a gold medal at the 2000 Sydney Olympics. Yes, since retiring in 2008, he's created the Future Foundation with aspirations to increase high school graduation statistics through education and family support. Please welcome down to the circle, the newly appointed president of the NBA G League, formerly the NBA, NBDL, yes. Sharif Abdur Rahim. Yes. Yes. Sharif, we're so happy you're here. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Let's thank talk you all about, me. absolutely, yes. let's yes. talk all about basketball. Of course, you played with the Kings, Trailblazers, and the Atlanta Hawks. Yes, don't forget the Hawks. <laughs> Come on, yes, Hawks. Yes. Home time, too. But let's, exactly, let's talk about your upbringing in Atlanta and how it played an integral role in the man you have become. Well, I'm, you know, from Atlanta. Yes. From, you know, it's a, it's a lot. It's a few of us yes, that are I actually know. from the city. But yep. I'm from Atlanta, but I'm, I'm the product of just a lot of people um, investing in me, pouring in me. Mm -hmm. um, parents centering us on community mm -hmm. and, and faith, and that's you know really why I want to stay connected to the right. city. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. Now, congratulations on being the president now of the NBA G League. Yes. Can you talk to um, to everybody who who maybe doesn't know what the difference between the G League and the NBA is? What yeah. is the difference? What is the G League's premise? So our we are an affiliate league of the NBA. Okay. So we're 27 teams next year, 28 teams, oh, wow. all owned and operated by NBA team. Mm -hmm. So, for example, in Atlanta, you have the Hawks, obviously. Right. Starting next year in College Park, um, where I grew up, Come on. you'll have the College Park Skyhawks. Ooh. Right? So they are directly... There you right. go, directly, <laughs> directly connected. They're younger players. Okay. You know, so it's a development resource. Younger players will go there to grow and develop. Uh, general managers go there. Mm -hmm. Head coaches will be there to develop business folks. So our our tenets are, one, to be a launching pad of careers. Mm -hmm. We're testing ground for rules and innovation of the NBA. Mm -hmm. And then overall, we want to be uh, an extension of the parents team brand in the community. So Absolutely. folks in College Park should see the players there accessible in the community. Um, they should be able to come to the games and reach out and touch, yeah. touch mm -hmm. folks. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's it, who we are. It's, it's kind of would you say that it's built to kind of foster some of the, you know, the players up so that they can go to the NBA? So it's it's kind of early grooming. That's, yeah. that's exactly who we that's are. Good. So, that's awesome. so, Pipeline. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. exactly. So this year, if you watch the All Star Game, Chris Middleton of the Milwaukee Bucks mm -hmm. got a start in in the G League. Right. That's good. So did Steph's brother too, right? He got a start yep. in the G League. So, you know, you come out of college um, and you're trying to still figure your mm -hmm. game out, figure your skills out. We're the platform for you to go and improve and get better and develop. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, let's talk about what motivated you to create the Future Foundation. You've been putting in work a long, darn <laughs> long time in Atlanta. Like, yeah. this is this is great work that you've been doing. But yeah. tell everybody what uh, the Future Foundation is all about. Mm -hmm. So in, we started, uh, to your point, in 2001. Mm -hmm. when I, was, I was here, I was playing for the Hawks. And it, it really was a platform that I thought of, of you know, kids that grow up or grow up in the same neighborhood that I grew up in in Southwest Atlanta, that they have a, a platform, a resource that they could develop and grow and, and just have folks come and love and support them. Again, the same, um, the same support I had. So that's, that's really our premise. We started as just an after-school program. Mm -hmm. We have now have locations and operations in six different mm -hmm. um, high schools throughout Southwest Atlanta. Yeah. Now, what has been your proudest moment since founding mm. the organization? Mm. Oh, that's a good one. You know, we're, we're at a point now where we have young people that have come through our, our foundation, come through our program. So started with us as fifth and sixth graders mm -hmm. that are now coming back and working in our program, oh, wow. volunteering with us. You know, you see them, they have families of their own. Yes. So that, I mean, that's unbelievably rewarding. Um, you see the product of your work um, and you know that that is tangible. You can reach out and touch them. Um, it's just awesome. That's, yeah. that's really rewarding. Yes, and today, the Keep It 100 luncheon. Yeah. What is that all about? So Keep It 100 is, is our, of our program since 2007, um, where we've really been outreaching and touching high school kids. All of our kids have graduated high school. That is fantastic. And of the, of the 100 that have, 100% 100, 100 that have graduated high school, 99% have gone on to college or some That's other amazing. type of additional education. So it's our celebration of them um, and of our corporate sponsors that support us, support them. 
Um, but it's really just a way for us to celebrate our young people and their accomplishment and continue to encourage them to, to keep going forward. Yeah. Sure, I, I just have to ask a question because uh -oh, uh -oh. I know you know so much. <laughs> yes. Um, you, have so, you have such a stake in, in, in um, development and, and upbringing and inspiration. And, and I just want to know, how do you guys help the parents kind of understand how to inspire and motivate their children in the proper way? Because we're seeing a lot of negative uh, reinforcement in mm -hmm. AAU and, you know, trying to force their kids to mm -hmm. do more. So how do you guys help facilitate the parents? Well, I, th I think it's really, you know, it's really just education. education. You know, from at, at the Future Foundation, we've um, established what we call the second family environment. Mm. Mm. That's good. Right? That's good. So, so you take young people, you, you might not have a very strong support system at home. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, you come to us and we give you the, the, second, the, yeah. the love, the support, the yes. guidance you need. If you have it, you know, you have mom, you have dad, mm -hmm. we're additional cheerleaders. Yeah. Supporters, teachers, um, so it, it's really that it's really that that total family environment mm -hmm. that parents they come. I, you know, since since 18 years now we've been doing this. We've you know tracked it over 20,000 families we've been connected to mm -hmm. and helping. And, that, and that's really it, it's, that's it's amazing. family. Yeah, yeah it's definitely so family. Needed. Absolutely. Thank, thank you so much. much. Yes, thank, thank you. you so much for yeah. all the work that you're doing in the community, being the president of the NBA G yes. and just being a good old guy. Just being the bomb. Man. Yeah. You, you make sure you tell Smitty. I, I, I will. That's what I got. And I'll see you on Wednesday. If you want to help Sharif and all that he's doing, please visit future-foundation.com. Give it up for Sharif. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.